Vuforia Studio has many options to track an AR experience, ensuring the spatial elements of the 3D models match those of the environment. A spatial target allows you to place your 3D model onto any flat, horizontal surface without a thing mark. This is useful when you don't have the physical object for tracking, or if you prefer flexibility in where you want to place your 3D model. Here, we already have a model of a 3D printer, which we want to use in our experience. To create a spatial target, first drag and drop the spatial target widget into the workspace. In the Spatial Target Properties tab, you can tick boxes to enable Pan Gesture, Rotate Gesture, and Scale Gesture. These functions allow you to move the model using gestures in Vuforia View. If left unchecked, the model will be fixed and cannot be manipulated by the user. For the purpose of this video, we will check all three. How you position your model relative to your spatial target will dictate how gestures will transform your model. This is especially noticeable for rotation, as this dictates the pivot point of your experience. Treat the spatial target as the flat surface for which you want to put things on. In our case, we'd like our 3D printer to sit on a tabletop, so we'll simply place it above the spatial target. You are now ready to publish the experience. Once published, you can load it with the Vuforia View app. Once your experience has loaded, you can scan a horizontal surface to load in your model. You can move your device around to see how the item will look in space. Once you are satisfied, tap to place the model. If you now move slowly around the model, you see that Vuforia View tracks the object in space. If gestures are enabled, you can then scale, rotate and move the model until it suits your liking. The pivot point for the transforms are based on where you located your spatial target. If you would like to relocate your model, shake your device to return to the placement mode. If a user accidentally moves the model away from the AR space, a reset button for the gesture changes can be added. To do this, create a button in the 2D canvas, then drag and drop its click event onto the spatial target's reset gesture changes service. For more information on connecting buttons to widget, see our video on widget bindings.